What's going on guys? It's Pokeballer Luke back with another NPA battle guys. It is now week 12 of the NPA and our Dallas Star Raptors are taking on Just Play Pokemon and the Cincinnati Crobats. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I decided to actually use game music this week. I don't know why. Uh, I updated to Windows 10 and my computer is kind of less laggy when I record so I figured why not try it out. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this battle. We have a really cool team crafted. We're 8-2 and two is our record right now so we're already confirmed for playoffs in our division. Uh, we're leading our division. Uh, I hope we end off leading our division as well. I don't know if there's a chance that we can. I don't know everyone else's record, but I think we should be straight. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to jump into the battle against Robbie today. We have Galvantula, Mega Metacham, Swords Dance Bisharp. We got that defensive Kefagurgis. We have a Magmortar with Life Orb. And lastly, we have good old Gastrodon. So I'm pretty excited. This is our team. We're bringing Webs does a lot. We are, without a doubt, leading with Galvantula. So, he's going to be bringing, let me take a picture, he's got that, oh god, he had to bring, he had to bring Staraptor. He's got Staraptor, Emolga, Nidoqueen, um, ya boy Lucario, Tentacruel, and lastly, he brought Superior. He didn't, he didn't bring Mega Gallade. Okay, I didn't expect that. Didn't expect him not to bring Mega Gallade, not going to lie. Kind of, kind of was, kind of was thinking he would at least, but uh, hey, I can't guess we'll see. Um... Something that worries me, right? Right? Okay, just hear me out real quick. Okay. <laughs> Contrary superior on sticky webs, right? That's just uh, that's just kind of like, oh, Nelly. Um, but I think we should be good. Like I said, I'm going to lead with Galvantula just to get that real quick webs up. Um, he has Tentacruel to spin, but we have uh, Kefagrigus to block his rapid spins. So, if we get into the position where he is going to spin, we can just switch out real quick. Not too much of a biggie. Um, but yeah, let's see how we do this battle. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I hope there aren't any connection issues. For some reason, the first time we tried to do it, it disconnected before the battle even loaded. It was weird. Like, we didn't even pick Pokemon. This is the first time I've seen his team. But he is going to lead out with his superior. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is because we're... I think we're faster. Let me check. Let me actually check real quick. Um... Let me open a new tab, actually. Superior has base speed, or, yeah, base speed of... Sorry for the little bit laggy screen. It happens when I open up Google Chrome for some reason. Uh, his base speed is going to be 113, and Galvantula is... Wow, it's, like, completely frozen. Uh, Galvantula's base speed is actually... I should have gotten the smoke on when it shows you right at the top. Gavantula's base speed is 108. Okay, so actually, no, he, he's probably faster. Um, let's get out of there. Uh, so what we're going to do is just sweat, set up the sticky web, to be honest. Um, might as well get it up now. He's going to withdraw, actually. Okay, um, that's fine by me, I guess. Uh, so we can actually get the free sticky web. He goes into Neoqueen, probably, you know, hoping to eat up some sort of... Some sort of, uh, what's it called, attack. Um, so at this point, he can go for, like, a Sludge Bomb. He's probably going to go for Earthquake, uh, is what I'm guessing. Uh, I think I'm going to go into the Gastrodon to eat it. Uh, but yeah, I think he's trying to eat, like, a Thunder or Volt Switch or something. But we have webs up now, which is huge. It helps us a lot. Other than with Superior, in which case it will be kind of, kind of, meh, 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 you know. But we also get to, uh keep the sash alive on our gastrodon which could potentially be good um okay, he goes for sludge rave which could potentially be good involving his uh superior we get the sash bug buzz or whatever so that could be cool um this turn i'm gonna go for that scald what does he have to eat scald he can go to a few things uh he could maybe i go for the earth power you know earth power does a good amount of damage yeah, I'm going to throw out an Earth Power here. Uh, if he goes into his Emolga, I'm not afraid of that at all. If he goes into Staraptor, not afraid of that at all with this. This is defensive. Um, does Emolga get Energy Ball? I'd have to look it up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for the Earth Power here, saying that he might go into his Tentacruel. He's gonna go yep, Tentacruel. There we go. We get the free Earth Power off right now, actually. So his Sticky Web actually slower, slows him down. Uh, and then we get the Earth Power right now. And it's not gonna do too much, which sucks. Um, but now what we have to do, I'm not trying to hit, I'm not trying to let him rapid spin those uh, 
I'm not trying to let him actually rapid spin that uh, webs away. So we're going to go into Alliance since he kind of has like a free rapid spin here. Did I just say go into Alliance? They're all named Alliance. We're going to go into Cafegregus with our three. Yeah, there we go. Yes, we predict the rapid spin perfectly. Um, now I'm going to throw out a Will-O-Wisp. I don't know what he's going to go into, but throwing out the Will-O-Wisp is definitely the thing to do. I probably should have packed Psychic on this thing. That would have been kind of cool, uh, but I guess it's fine without it. Now, he could potentially go for a knockoff here. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. Uh, so he is going to go for a knockoff, unfortunately, but we are going to get the burn on him, and he is going to take the mummy, mummy ability, so that's good. He's going to be taking damage from that, um, plus the Will-O-Wisp, which unfortunately actually misses. Now, I have no reason not to go for Will-O-Wisp again. I don't think he's going to do anything creepy here. Uh, he might stand. He might switch out. I guess we'll see. But yeah, we called that Rapid Spin good. I need to keep this alive only for Rapid Spin until Tentacruel's gone. Then I can use it as just a defensive tank in general. But until then, I'm going to have to kind of use Gastrodon for that. He's going to actually withdraw. Uh, I don't know what he's going to go into. To eat, uh, He's going to go into a Mulga. Okay. Um, I mean, Mulga can catch this burn, I guess. Why not? Now, what does the Mulga even do? It gets, like, agil agility? <laughs> Is he going to paralyze me? Um, I'm not too afraid of this, to be honest. I'm going to Shadow Ball it. Or I can... I think it does get energy ball. I like legit do. That's kind of scary. Um, yeah, I'm just going to shadow ball. He's going to knock off again. Okay, well, the, with the burn, that doesn't do anything. He's going to now take the mummy too. Uh, we... Okay, oh, for a second I thought his static. I was like, oh no! But luckily, his static. Uh, that was just us taking away his static. So the Shadow Ball does a fair amount of damage. We should be able to get him out next turn. So that's cool, at least. Um, it does suck that we don't have leftovers, because getting that recovery actually would be really nice. Uh, this turn... Okay, Shadow Ball. Does he have anything that can like really take a Shadow Ball good? Or am I safe? I mean, if he was... You know, he could go into Star Raptor, right? So I'm gonna Dark Pulse just because it will kill either way. If he decides to go into Star Raptor instead, no, he's gonna go for the Nuzzle. Okay, that's smart. Uh, get the paralysis. I, I see you. I see you. Um, it's not too big of a deal. We go for the Dark Pulse, and it is gonna be enough to take him out. Uh, and even if it isn't the burn, yeah, okay, we're good. So there goes Amolga. Down goes Elliot's best friend. Elliot's favorite Pokemon, guys. If you don't know Galactic Elite, his favorite Pokemon is actually Amolga. Uh, fun fact about him, you know. Anyways. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's he going to do now. Uh, like I said, I do want to keep this thing alive at all cost. Uh, I don't know what he's going to go into. He could possibly go into Superior here. Go for the Leaf Storm, maybe. Um, I could totally see that happening. If he does, I'd probably go into Magmordar. I don't know, that's that's a hard thing. Magmortar and Metacham and Bisharp can really clean up his team, right? Bisharp's more of a late game. Um, Metacham and Magmortar are kind of like the wall breakers. They'll be able to outspeed with the sticky webs and everything. So he's going to actually go into Lucario. Now, I'm going to sticky web, right? I mean, I'm, I'm going to burn him. I don't know what he's going to throw, like knockoff maybe? What does Lucario get that I'm afraid of? Maybe I'll Pain Split just to get some health back. Oh, he has a Dark Pulse. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough to kill. No. So now we actually take him down a lot. And uh, now the Pain Split goes off. So now, yeah. That was actually good on our part. That we didn't go for the burn because he seems to be a special variant. Now, now that he's going to go for the Dark Pulse, I think I'm just going to honestly hop into... Let's see. We can go into Gastrodon again. Uh... I don't think he has any grass attacks that can hit us too hard. So we'll just go into Gastrodon now. Um, like I said, we do need to keep the... He's going to go for Dark Pulse again. We do need to keep our... Um, Cofagrigus alive, right? Because I don't want him to rapid spin these webs. They're really game-changing. Um, especially when it comes to Metacham, who's like borderline fast, right? It's like base 100, I think. I always forget. But we're going to go for the Earth Power again. We'll see what he does. Uh, I'd imagine he'd switch. I don't think he's carrying HP grass. Yeah, he's going to switch into who? Superior. Okay, smart. That was a good play. Um, his speed's going to go up. That's scary. But I think he was already faster than like everything. 
Um, sucks I didn't go for like Ice Beam or something. That would have been kind of cool. Now, the Leaf Storm is pretty obvious here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so going into Magmortar definitely would be the play. It's just scary though, because then like after, he'll be able to do a lot of damage. I'll go to Magmortar. Alright, so we're out. He's going to go for the Leaf Storm, of course. Get his special attack. Risen. Uh, that does not very much at all. So, that's good. I'm going to just... I think that he's going to switch, right? Ooh, is it worth risking it? I really think that he's going to go into... Uh... Alright, you know, I'm just going to Fire Blast. And then I can Thunderbolt against his... Yeah, okay, we can Thunderbolt his... Tentacruel. Um, will it be enough to kill, though? He is going to get the speed lower. If this hits, right? If this Fire Blast hits. Hmm. I guess... Let's just go for it, right? Let's just go for the Thunderbolt. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it'll be enough to take him out. I, th I think... I mean, we are Life Orb. And we do have a huge amount of special attack. So, I think that's actually looking pretty good. Let me tell you what would suck, is if we get to the position where we need to, like, take out Superior, right? And then we miss a Fire Blast, oh god. Oh lord, oh lord. Uh, but another thing about the Superior is that I have a lot of priority on the team. I have, you know, two forms of priority. I'm Metacham, of course I have... Um, of course I have Sucker Punch on Bisharp. So the Thunderbolt's gonna go off, and it is enough to take out that Tentacruel. There we go. It's a critical hit. I don't think the crit actually mattered. Um, but who knows? It might have. It was gonna take some life orb damage. What's he gonna go into now? Is he gonna go into his... Okay, now we can actually start using uh, Cathagrigus as more of a tank, right? He's gonna go into Needle Queen now. Um, that means he's probably gonna go for an Earthquake or Earth Power. Sticky Webs, unfortunately for him, is gonna take him down a lot. I'm gonna go back into our... Um, Gastrodon, it kind of walls this thing pretty perfectly. I still wish... Who lost? No, Gastrodon still has leftovers. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, Earth Power's gonna go off. Not gonna do too much. Actually, that's a ton. What the hell? Okay, are we gonna lose Gastro? I don't know if we're faster. Okay, well... I'll go for the Recover. Like, if we live, right? He's gonna withdraw. Okay, I don't know why. I th he might have outsped still, because Gastrodon's not, you know, fast at all. Uh, but we get that free recover off, so that's bangers right there. Now at this point, something that scares me is the fact that I feel like my Mortar is gonna die to two Leaf Storms, like a plus one. But I'm gonna have to go into Magmortar. Mortar. Um, I mean, what does Gastrodon really wall? It helps. What does he have down so far? He lost Tentacruel and he lost Emolga. He still has Lucario out there. Um, Gastrodon will help against that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into Magmortar here. Yeah, that's definitely the thing to do. He's gonna go for the Leaf Storm, of course. Will it be enough for the 2 KO? Definitely will. Um, will he get it, though? I'm going to Fire Blast. I think he's going to switch. I mean, he's not going to switch. I think he's going to go for the Leaf Storm again. Get plus four. Oh, yeah. Why would he withdraw there? Okay, well, we get the free Fire Blast. So that's good at least. I don't know if this will be a 2 to KO or. Yeah, it will. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go for Fire Blast. We're gonna have to let something die against <laughs> against Superior now to take it out, because I want to keep that sash. Uh I want you know, I wanna have my sash on. What's his name? Okay, well, looks like we're gonna both go into new Pokemon. 
What's he gonna go into? I could potentially start. S I could set up a sword stance and take out everything, actually. With the exception of Lucario. But we can outspeed Lucario. And actually, I don't think he has a fighting attack. Okay. I uh, know he probably has Aura Sphere. But we, we should be able to outspeed. And we're gonna set up a sword stance. He, of course, he goes into Lucario. Sticky Web goes off. So, I'm gonna set up the SD here. And then we have a low kick to finish him. So that's good at least. Uh, we're looking at a four to three lead, or I'm sorry, five to four lead. So that's good so far. Um, wow, we've actually 9,000 eggs. I have a no life. You guys know I have over 999 hours on this game? Like, come on. <laughs> What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for the close combat. Okay, so he's mixed. Um. I'm fine with that, because now we have that 1 HP real quick. If he has, like, priority, though, that would not be too good. <laughs> but regardless, I'm going to go for the low kick now. Let's hope he doesn't have priority. I, I didn't realize he was going to be mixed. I probably should have switched. There's no reason for me to stay in with Bisharp. I could have just gone into Gastrodon. Um, or gone into... Okay, no, we get the low kick off. Okay, we're good. This actually could potentially be the game. Plus two. Uh, we have Sucker Punch. I guess it depends if his star after is quick at that. Actually, no, we're plus... Or, uh, it... Sucker Punch has plus two priority. Oh, he doesn't have Intimidate. Damn, that would have been awesome if he had Intimidate. All right, I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch now. I'm assuming he's Scarfed. But yeah, the second punch is going to go off, and it is going to do a lot, enough to Oko it. Uh, crit didn't matter, not at all. Definitely not. Uh, we plus two Bisharp, so. Now, he's going to go into. He's going to go, yeah, he's going to go into Superior now. That's all he has left. Um, and the second punch should actually be enough. Even if it isn't, we have Bug Buzz, uh, but I don't see why. If this thing is, like, for some reason, focus banned. <laughs> Uh, which I don't think it was. I, th I think we actually have. I think we actually secured our win at this point. Um, we actually got a DC. All that was left, right, was the superior, and we had a plus two sucker punch. So I'm gonna talk to him about that, uh, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So after some DMs, um, Robbie decided to hand me the win. Uh, it was basically down to his superior, which wasn't at full health, and sucker punch had a. 90 or had a 62.5 percent chance to ko it did uh, at a minimum 92.6 percent um which i'm not sure how much hp he had um but i had a chance to do 110 percent of his hp as well i know he wasn't at full health i'm pretty sure i would have been able to ko uh not to mention even if it didn't i had tons of priority and a sashed <clears throat> i also had a sashed uh galvantula in the back which could have just bug buzzed which would have been game over as well uh, so yeah, that's the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed um, And I'll see you all next time for the next NPA battle next week against well The next NPA battle is gonna be a special one because it's against my boy It's against one of my closest friends in the community baby powder, uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. We're now 9 and 2 I'll see you guys later and uh, peace out